I was in uh, Salt Lake City in the US doing a presentation, a workshop for a big group, about 50, 60 people, and they were from the retail sector. And uh, all was going well. It was a you know, lovely, ve lovely venue, a good team, good group, and obviously the presenter was, was great. Anyway, got to lunchtime, and I'm sat in the, uh, the restaurant, and this big guy, what we would call over here, a big, loud American, came over to me, and he points at me, and he just said, Australian, right? I went, British. He said, I knew it, knew it, he said, I knew it. He said, you guys are great, okay? Now, whether I, th I think he's thinking Australians are great rather than British are great, but anyway. And uh, anyway, he said, um, whereabouts are you from? I said, I'm from, I'm from Birmingham. He said, yeah, I thought, I thought that was the case, he said. No idea how, but still. Anyway, he said, in the afternoon, could you tell some jokes, some uh, British-Australian humour? I said, okay, of course I can. Now, this is a cautionary tale of when to use humour in a workshop or maybe when not to. So the afternoon comes round and I'm talking about retail sales and all this sort of thing, as, as you do. And uh, so I tell uh, what I think is a, a hilarious story. And all it's to do with is when you walk into a store, we have a, a script. It's all over the world. So I walk into a shop or a store and the assistant will say to me, uh, are you okay there or do you need any help? That's their script. And every Everybody else in the world has a script that we use back to them, and it's simply this, no thanks, I'm just looking, or I'm just having a look around. That's it, and it kills a conversation. And my point was, maybe you shouldn't just say to people in a store, are you okay there? So the joke that I, I, I told, and uh, forgive me if this uh, offends or upsets anybody, that's not the intention, but it, it's in the context of the story. Now, the, the joke that I told, or this, the humorous story that I told, was that a uh, guy walks into a store or a shop with a, with a guide dog, with a Labrador, on a, on a frame, walks in, and uh, he picks the dog up and starts swinging it around his head. And the uh, the assistant says to him, uh, "Are you okay there?" And he says, "No, I'm I'm fine. I'm just having a look round." Now I thought that was hilarious. Now it was all in context, so no emails, no messages, please, all that sort of thing. I get it, and I thought that was quite, thought it was quite amusing, uh, but clearly. The audience didn't, and they just sat there, and this big American guy, I remember, he was sat in the front of the room, his arms folded, and as I said this, he just started to shake his head, and just like, oh, what's he done now? And uh, anyway, I had to recover from that and uh, get on with the workshop, and I never actually figured out exactly why they got so, uh, not offended, but they didn't find it amusing, maybe it was a cultural thing, maybe, uh, who knows, but when you're telling, you know, doing workshops, and you're doing jokes, or you're doing humour... Um, be careful because it's ever so easy to not just upset people, but they won't find it funny. So you've got to be real careful with that. Uh, so what I, what I thought was hilarious, uh, they didn't think was quite so amusing. So I think it was reasonably reasonably harmless, but still. So no offence intended by that. Uh, no emails or anything like that about it. But I don't tell that joke anymore. But just be careful. So even though you think it's amusing or you think it's funny, it may not be to other people. Be real careful using humour in your workshops and your presentations. I've been caught out a few times doing that. So... Anyway, a quick tip for you. So check on our website, resultsrulesok.com. Lots of documents and other videos and bits and pieces there and tips for you to use. And uh, come along to one of our workshops. Come and see what we get up to. And I hope to see you there. In the meantime, have a great week. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.